I am Superintendent Barr, and we are here at Purdy Elementary, and I want to thank you so much for allowing us to come today. We love reading, don't we, in Peninsula School District? Yeah. Isn't it just the best? Yeah. Yes. I have a special friend here today, Mr. Hugh McMillan, and you had an opportunity to meet him a little while ago, but he has been a dear friend for Peninsula School District for a long, long time. So I get to read my favorite book, Hugh, to the students. My very favorite book. Hey, I know that you know this book. I'm sure you've had it. I know. And someone's name might even be in there that we, I know. So this is my very favorite book, Where the Wild Things Are. Where the Wild Things Are. By Maurice Sendak. Now, Maurice Sendak, the author of this, also had a ballet up in Seattle. Did any of you get a chance to ever see that? Oh, okay, well that's the cool thing about authors. They might write a book, but then they might do other things. They might have a podcast, or a radio show, or a TV, or put on a play, you never know, right? But for various reasons, and I'll, I'll kind of explain why, but you might want to think why this might be my favorite book, all right? So it has beautiful illustrations. Hugh, I'm gonna show it to the kids in between you and I, does that work? That will work too all right. nicely, I'd love to see it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. All right, Where the Wild Things Are, by Maurice Sendak. This is a little bit of an older book, do you? It is a really good book. That's beautiful. All right, isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. The Night. Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Let's see him making mischief? Yeah. Mm, I'm sure none of you ever have any mischief. And another. <clears throat> what's he doing? He's chasing it. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Hmm. Does he look very happy? No. Was he being very good? Oh. No. It happens. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. What is growing? There, his, his room is transforming. It's growing into, I think, what would you guys say? Forest. Is it, yeah, forest, maybe a, a jungle. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. It's a pretty small boat, isn't it? Kind of scary. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Does he look afraid? Does he look afraid? No. What does he look like? Mm -hmm. Maybe mad. Maybe mad. Till Max said, be still, and tame them with a magic trick, staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. Can you try that? And they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of all. Hmm. And they made him king of all the wild things. Look at that, a crown. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. What is a rumpus? Isn't that a good word? What is it, Max? 
What do you think it might be? What a well rumpus thing. Should we see? Should we see what it looks like? Maybe we can put some words to it. So they rumpus at the moon. Yeah, what do you think? Howling Maybe howling. Yeah. Maybe yelling. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe dancing, maybe rumpusing is a lot of different things. And they rumpus through the trees. Yeah. Fun. Fun. Fun? Yeah, maybe wild fun. And they rumpus through the leaves. There's a lot of rumpusing going on. Yeah? Thank you. There's a lot of rumpusing going on. I don't know. Now stop, Max said. And sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely. And he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things But the wild things cried. Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth, and they rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved. and sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day. It's a long time. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still was a funny book, wasn't it? Do you think Max got kind of excited about being all wild? Yeah. yeah. And then what happened? Do you think he was maybe dreaming all the time? Could be. They didn't say in the book, did they? Yeah. Sounds like he got a little lonely. And he probably went out and apologized to his mom. Right? All right. Well, thank you for allowing me to read my favorite, favorite book. I love it. And I love the end where you said, and it was still hot. This is the kind of book that you remember, right? So if we were to tell Mr. McMillan what rumpus meant, what did we learn today? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Kind of silly. Kind of silly. Yeah. Wild. Wild. Yeah. Having fun. Having fun. Yeah. All of those words, I would agree. So, Mr. McMillan, what do you think about this group here? I think they're very special. And you know what? You're going to be leading the whole world someday. And you know what? There is absolutely nothing that you cannot do. You can do anything you put your mind to. I promise.